This brain chip is the future of learning because the way you gain knowledge today is broken. Sitting in front of a teacher who hates their life and only read the textbook last night is not only exhausting, but also plain boring. You're bound to forget what you learned in school. Your memory is like Swiss cheese with holes in random places just rotting away. But it doesn't have to be that way. It won't always be that way. Envision yourself with a Neuralink brain chip. Now you have perfect recall, infinite memory. Imagine yourself downloading a new language in the time it takes to microwave a taco. Imagine acquiring new skills like Kung Fu in just seconds. That's the potential of Neuralink and not some vague sci-fi potential. This is happening. The first humans have already been implanted about 10 minutes down the road from where I'm recording this. Think about how you learn today. Your teacher says something, you write it down, and you just repeat it a week later. You drag your brain through books and lectures and online tutorials, hoping that something sticks. But Neuralink changes all that. It bypasses all the friction. It connects directly to the source of learning itself, your brain. In the future, Neuralink will allow you to access information from the cloud without lifting a finger, translate languages in real time, and replay your past memories to reinforce real learning. This is bigger than just convenience. It's about rewriting what it even means to learn. Forget studying, you simply plug and play. The thing that will ultimately constrain our ability to uh, be symbiotic with AI is bandwidth. In other words, if AI continues evolving, and it will, we need to evolve with it. Not just use it, but merge with it. Otherwise, we risk becoming irrelevant. This is where Neuralink becomes not just exciting, but necessary. Because if you don't have direct access to knowledge the way an AI does, if your bandwidth is limited to two clumsy thumbs typing on a screen, you will fall behind. Society will split between those who integrate and those who don't. And that raises an uncomfortable question. Are we becoming too dependent on tech? You already know this. If you're under age 35, you don't know your neighborhood street names. But of course, if you're over 60 years old, I'm sure you have this magical superpower of being able to say the exact directions to get to the restaurant on North 40th and Camelback. Cell phones and cars with GPS offloaded that intelligence. Same goes for calculators. You can't do long division anymore. You haven't memorized a phone number in over a decade. You've outsourced your brain and Neuralink will accelerate that even more. So we have to consider what learning feels like before you and I have these advanced Neuralinks. Listen to Elon. But I think people self-limit their ability to learn. A lot of times, learning is built up to feel like a daunting task. For example, when it comes to programming, folks don't know where to start, so they assume they will never be able to master it. Which leads me to this video sponsor, Brilliant, the learning app. Brilliant makes it extremely easy to learn. They help you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. After playing around with the lessons, it reminded me of something Elon said more than a decade ago. The more you can gamify the, uh, the process of learning, the better. Like, I, for my kids, I do not have to encourage them to play video games. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I have to like, pry them from their hands. Yeah. This is totally true, and fortunately with Brilliant, it doesn't feel like a burden to learn. It's not quite like a pure video game, but it's much more fun and useful than a typical college course. Brilliant is designed to be effective since each lesson has hands-on problem solving that gives you the why behind the concepts. A method I'm told has proven to be six times more effective than watching lecture videos, which based on my experience, I would have guessed it's even better because you're actively doing something with the information you just learned. Their first principles approach helps you build understanding from the ground up and all content on Brilliant is made by folks from Stanford, MIT, IT, Caltech, Microsoft, Google, and more. So this is what separates you from the others. By clicking the link below to sign up for Brilliant, you're saying you're willing to spend a few minutes every day learning rather than mindlessly scrolling. You can try it out for 30 days or my link will get you 20% off an annual premium subscription. And now back to Neuralink. The very first Neuralink implant is already delivering digital telepathy. Elon confirmed the first Neuralink product is called telepathy. Enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. At first, it's aimed at people with paralysis, but this is just the first step. In the future, a Neuralink will let you learn anything instantly through direct stimulation of the memory centers, or send raw thoughts directly to another person with a Neuralink, or record and replay mental states, like being in the zone. 
This is where things get philosophical, because if you can perfectly download and replay skills, do you still learn them or do you just install them? And the key question, will it actually matter? Let's say, for example, you travel to Rome. You're speaking fluent Italian, not because you took lessons, but because Neuralink is translating your thoughts and receiving others' thoughts in real time. You don't hear Italian. After all, language is merely a tool for communicating our thoughts. So instead of having to ask the front desk for a room on the top floor and a great view, you don't need to speak in any language. You can just send the idea from your Neuralink directly to her Neuralink. So going back to the question, are we becoming too dependent on tech? Whatever you think about today, you might as well get prepared for more tech tomorrow. And yet, is there a loss in that? Part of learning a language is learning its culture, its humor, its rhythm. If Neuralink skips all that, are we still human or are we machines? None of this will be easy or quick. When Zuby asked Elon about this, here was his response. Well, I mean, the thing I wanted to emphasize is that it's not going to like sort of pounce on us overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll, you'll, you'll see it coming. It's going to be very slow. In fact, I really think that um, artificial general intelligence or digital super intelligence is likely to arrive before we have really advanced neural links. At least that's where the trend is right now. Mm -hmm. So, but ultimately the idea would be to achieve a symbiosis between biological mind and our kind of digital mind. So we, we're already kind of a cyborg. Uh, if you think of like your phone and your computers as an extension of yourself. Mm -hmm. In fact, like if you leave your phone behind, it's like you have missing limb syndrome. You're like, you know, <laughs> where did it go? You know? And uh, so the phone is a kind of an extension of ourselves, like computer is, uh, the various applications that we use are already an extension of self. So we, we are already a cyborg, it's just that the interface is uh, with our eyes and our fingers. Neuralink has already faced intense criticism from the media, animal rights activists, and even academics who call the idea reckless, unethical, even impossible. But lame people also said the same about electric cars, reusable rockets, and Diet Coke. The first human implant was performed with a robotic surgical assistant using threads thinner than human hairs that are stitched into the brain. That alone is a technical miracle, but it's also just the beginning. Right now, this is still fringe, but in 10 years, it'll be as normal as getting LASIK. And as we learned from the GPS example, when convenience wins, society shifts permanently. There's a scene I keep imagining. You're sitting at a cafe. A stranger across the table connects with you instantly not with words, but with thoughts. You understand their ideas, their emotions, their meaning, pure and unfiltered. No miscommunication, no guessing, no judgment based on accent or vocabulary. It's honest, raw, and beautiful. Now expand on that. You wanna learn how to fly a helicopter? Neuralink connects you to a simulation that feels more real than any real flight lesson. Wanna practice surgery? Wanna rehearse a speech in Mandarin? Wanna relive your happiest memory? It's all there. As Elon said on Joe Rogan's podcast in 2020, with Neuralink, you could store your memories as a backup and restore them. You could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. So what happens when everyone has one? How will learning look then? Education will be a commodity. Why memorize the periodic table when you can find it instantly? Why study history when you can relive it? Why write code when you can produce it immediately? But this power won't be evenly distributed, at least not right away. Those who can have access to Neuralink first will have a superpower. They'll learn faster, think faster, and execute faster. And those who hesitate, they risk falling behind, just like how you would be if you weren't watching Neuropod videos. But here's the thing, Neuralink doesn't replace your brain, it amplifies it. You still choose what to learn, who to love, and how to spend your time. It's the same as you live today. If you have the internet, you can learn literally anything you want, but you're still you. And what you bring to the table, your curiosity, your empathy, your desire to grow, is still irreplaceable for now. Compared to how you grew up learning, with textbooks, with YouTube videos, with pure struggle, your kids will grow up learning by thought alone. They'll have access to every human insight ever created, but more importantly, they'll have the freedom to choose what to do with that knowledge. Learning won't just become easier, but deeper, more intimate, and more human. And that's the paradox. Neuralink is the most advanced technology we humans have ever created, also that we can become more ourselves than ever before. The future will be awesome. You just have to plug in. Anyway, that's that. YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so click it. And if you made it to the end, subscribe for more Neuralink videos.